In today's program, we will look at the pattern printing problem. That is, when n is equal to 3, we have to print the pattern in this format. That is, in the first row, 1, 2, 3 will be in the forward direction and then 4, 5, 6 will be in the reverse direction and again it will be coming in the forward direction for the third row, 7, 8, 9. So, this is something like a zigzag pattern. Okay. So, when n is equal to 5, first row forward direction, second row goes in the reverse direction, third row again forward direction from down to 50 and fourth row in the reverse direction and then the finally the fifth row in the forward direction. So, now let us go to the editor. So, we are accepting an input which is n. And then we are deciding how many rows are to be printed. Here, if <coughs> n is equal to 3, 3 rows are to be printed. If n is equal to 5, 5 rows are to be printed. So, the number of rows, we will declare a variable called the row. Okay. And then the rows will be row equal to 1, row less than or equal to n. Because n rows are going to be there. Okay. Now, the number of columns is also the same, same as n. Okay. So, let us say, let us have another variable called call, which is also going, going to be from 1 to n for each row. For call is equal to 1, call less than or equal to n, call plus plus. So, within this, we are going to print. And after every row, we need a new line. So, we will be adding a new line. Now, we have to focus on the values that are to be um, printed at the starting of the line. Right? So, in the starting, for the odd rows, it is, because they are in forward direction, the formula can be uh, held as 2 into n, that is for every row, the previous row into n plus 1. That is, the first row here, row is equal to 1. So, the starting value will be row value minus 1 into n plus 1, which is 0 into 3 plus 1 equal to 1. So, similarly for the uh, another odd row 3, the value is row minus 1 which is 3 minus 1 into 3 plus 1 which is nothing but 7. So, similarly here coming here the, because this row is a third row and odd row, it is row minus 3 that is 3 minus 1 into n which is 5 plus 1 which is 11. So, for this row which is again an odd row, it is the fifth row. So, 5 minus 1 into 5 plus 1 which will give you 21. For the even rows, the formula can be like whatever the number of rows into n. So, it is like row into n, right? which is this is the second row. So, 2 into 3 equal to 6 will be the starting thing. Or when n is equal to 5, this is the second row. So, 2 into 5 is equal to 10 will be the starting position. This is the fourth row. So, 4 into 5 equal to 20 will be the starting value. right? But the odd rows, so first we will print the start value for each row. Okay. I will declare another variable called the print val. The print val will be initialized accordingly, right? If row modulo or I can use a ternary operator, print val equal to if row modulo 2 equal to 0 means it is an even row. So, even row means it is row into n, the starting value, print val. Otherwise, it is row minus 1 into n plus 1. That is the starting value. So, now I have calculated the starting value. Now, also we see the incremental, uh, the incrementing va value is 
1 for the odd rows and minus 1 for the even rows because in even rows it is in the descending order because when printing in the program you have to print from the first column to the last column so in all the even rows like we have to have the incremental thing as minus 1 so what I what I am going to do is I am going to have another variable called diff right so diff also I am populating so I can have an if else loop also to do the same so what I can do is so this will be more or uh, it will be clearer right 2 equal to 0 means it is an odd row in this case print val is equal to row star n diff is equal to minus 1 because it has to keep decreasing else if it is an odd row right print val equal to whatever this value I am taking up diff is equal to 1 right so I am having the diff I am removing the ternary operator now for that call all I am doing is I am printing the print val I am going to print the print val print a percentage d space print val so that value is printed after that I have to increment the print val print val is equal to print val plus d so if it is an odd row it will be increasing if it is an even row it will be decreasing so now let me try to execute the program so I am printing file so I get the pattern like 12 and in the reverse order now let, let us execute for another value an even value so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 30 31 36 right thanks for watching